We all know and accept the risk that we take when we jump on the back of these motorcycles, but never in a million years would I have thought an eighth of a mile away from my house that I would almost be taken out. This lady never stopped, never slowed down, nothing, never even hit her brakes. Ma'am, what would you have told my children? What would you have told my wife? Or would you have ran? Please pay more attention and slow down. <laughs> family again welcome back to the channel glad each and every one of you had a chance to stop back by and see what's going on at bad lsx garage i'm chris for you guys that may not know here we do a little bit of everything cars trucks motorcycles reviews unboxings just how to's everything it's all across the board here at the compound so if you're looking for a variety, you've came to the right place. But right now, we're heading down to a little place called Rockcastle County or Mount Vernon, Kentucky. Roy recently moved and, well, we're going to meet up with Roy. And uh, I don't know what today's going to entail, just wherever we end up, I guess. So as of right now, let's just roll. There's Bigfoot, right there. Probably. Did you, did you see him? No, I missed him. He must have jumped behind a tree. He's an elusive creature, you know. Hard he to catch. Is. This is a scene you don't see very often. You actually leaped for once. Just trying to keep you under control. <laughs> it's actually nice to actually sit back here for once and just... Whatever. <laughs> Well, you know it's true. You do it all the time. I know. I, you hold it. <laughs> at least now I can take advantage of it for a few minutes anyway. For at least 20 miles. Yeah. I think we're getting ready to turn here. Somewhere. There. Should be right here. Alright, get up there. Okay. Go ahead, you're doing good. Oh, you got a... I got, I got a navigate. You got a navigate. You had your 20 miles. Is this it or is it the next one? This is wrong. This, this right here. Just go. Okay. Don't think too much about it. Trust your navigator. Alright, alright. I might get you lost, but I'll get you out of there. Alright. Uh, three and a half miles, we're going to take a left. Looks like we go to a T section. Take a left. Stay at the bottom of this hill. What's that? I don't think we've ever came in this way, we have we? We have never came this way that I know of. Must be a good hill. They got a runaway ramp, so it must be. Wee! Yeah, boy. Ooh, that's great. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm ready. Sorry, God, we keep over the pickup truck. He's moving. at 65. Round. <laughs> yeah, I need to shut up and just concentrate, I think. <laughs> yeah, you do, because he's smoking your ass. Yeah, he's burning me up. Well, he slowed way down. 
He probably just gave us a fast run through the little curves. Thank you, buddy. That was fun. So where are you taking me anyway? Where are you sending me? Huh? Black Mountain. Is that where we're heading to, Black Mountain? Yep. Yep, we're 39 miles away. And not that's an hour away, but anyway. We're just out riding around. Okay. Rudy 2222, Joy Road. Now, what was the road back there so I could document what it was uh, earlier? 699? 699. Was that, was that it? Yes. I got and, some of it, but I didn't get all of it, so 699 was the road we come off of. We're sweet. Good curves, and there's all the pretty water. Joey's still flooded down through here, ain't you? Yeah. I think we go across that bridge up there. Uh, do we? Uh, five, yeah, I say we do. 588. Yeah, yep, go across the bridge. Whoa. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, this is neat. Uh, take a left up here. Okay. Blackie Public Library. Welcome to Blackie, it says. I've never been to Blackie. Can't say that I have either. We have now. I like Blackie. It's definitely hidden away. Goodness. This can't be right. Is this right? Yep. Keep going. Rub it up. Rub it up. Yeah, he looked. Hooked another one. Convert another one. That's all we want to do. I think we took a... No, we're going right. A left at Albuquerque when we should have took a right somewhere else. Oh, that's what it was. This is a little road here. Oh, nobody comes flying around through here. Hopefully it opens up. Or just shooting across mountains, who knows. We'll turn around if we see gravel. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. But we ain't much far from it. Oh, we ain't far from it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't think this has traveled very much. <laughs> can't say that I do. Uh, okay, well, I gave you a chance. I know. Boy, you took me back and bump did you? Bub, I don't know where you got me, but yes. I can't even but believe we're we back. We might even see some good country. Bear, Bigfoot, elk. I guarantee you'll see Bigfoot back here. There's plenty of enough places for him to hide. Well, it's opening up a little more and the road's yeah. getting a little better, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We're not in bum <laughs> Egypt, we're just in bum <laughs> <laughs> Not that serious. Stop and ask this old boy right here where we're at. <laughs> he says, you're right here. <laughs> This dude's on my side of the road here. 
I don't blame I'll tell you him. why, too. <laughs> I don't blame him. It's not a speed road here. Not as deep as that other one, but... It's more like a George Jones road, you know what I'm saying? Real nice, slow. <laughs> Trying to tear in your beer thing, right? Whoever, whoever sung that. That's old Hank Williams Sr. Oh. We're in Tulsa Creek area. I don't know if this road's ever going to figure itself out or not. They blade fresh, fresh blacktop down through here. You see that, ain't you? We've been running. Somewhere. We've been running over it. Forget about the road just falling off. You know, don't worry about that. Let's just fix it with some fresh blacktop. You know, that's yeah, uh, I see it now. That's all we need. Don't fix this big. Hole. No, don't don't fix none of this. But, no. but just put, you know. Yeah. Yeah, right there. You know. Yep. That day my ears are popping. Mine are too. <laughs> over that mountain Tennessee Virginia or Virginia whatever or she blue and hazy ain't she yep car watch out being your moving on <laughs> switch back get ready all right <laughs> Is that you or me? <laughs> That's me. I couldn't tell. Uh, maybe one more switch back in about two miles. Can't hardly tell yet. Now that the view. I don't mean me to tell you, but that's a view. There you go. <laughs> I'll bleep you out. It's good. I've got you, Bubba. Yeah, but it's bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> yeah, but. I'm trying. I know. Gosh. Yeah. Wow. Cool I know it. I'm sure it wouldn't have been cool trying to work it back in the day, but it looks cool looking now. That right up here is the store. Okay, we didn't pass it then. No. See, right here is the store. No, up there is a store. Yeah. No. Remember, it's that little hole in the Yeah, wall. right here. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. We signed our names there. Yep. We got patches. Gave him a little honk. But it was like rainy last time we was here. Yeah. The roads that, wet. That's uh, when I had a pucker moment and realized that I needed a new back tire. <laughs> Need rubber instead of steel, steel <laughs> coming out. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Was that fall or was that when? When did we come? I'll have to look at that video and actually see. But what did this year? No. Well, yeah. But was it fall or? I don't think, dude. I remember it was, it was wet roads up through here. We was avoiding the storm anyway. Well, that's yep. always anymore. I shouldn't record this whole thing, but I'm gonna try to anyway. I know we've already done it, but. At least a little bit of it. Whee! Ooh, it 
got chilly right there. Did you feel that? Yeah, there must be a cave up here somewhere. Jeez, I bet it dropped 10 degrees. That's a lookout right there. Yep. And that's the road we're going to. I should have brought my drone. If I knew it was coming this way, I would have. It is getting colder up here. Goodness. I'm, it, my fingers are cold. That ain't no okay. cave. That's a freaking air getting colder. That cold front moving in, I guess. No, we're just up in the mountains. 68 degrees up here. Uh, it's colder than that. <laughs> You're thinking? Colder than that. <laughs> back can't head down to cool down. The bike just ain't caught up yet, but it's colder than that for sure. And gears popped again. I don't know, I'm cold. <laughs> yeah, I'm wanting to pull down my sleeves, but I ain't had time. Jeez. Well, there went one. And there goes the other one. <laughs> so There's 64 now. Starting to catch up. Oh, I bet it's in the 50s every bit. Well, this tells you how cold it is. There's still ice up here. Yeah, there is, ain't they? Wow. 70 degrees, 70, almost 80, and there's ice up here. I wonder if it's feeling a little bit cold. I know my bike's running a lot better. <laughs> yeah, 63, I noticed this one's getting a little perky up here. Better cold air. We're not going in that big no, drop off. I'm not dropping off. Welcome to Virginia. Now right there's where I about wrecked. Yep. All right, let's go get one. Was, there, was that there <laughs> last time? Yeah. Don't remember him. Now you on you on the part that you like. I don't mind going downhill. I hate it. I can't control the bike. It seems like. I mean, I can, but you know there ain't no throttling out of it. If you throttle out of it, you stir up. I don't hang with you, but it. I don't like it. <laughs> I do a lot of trail breaking when I'm doing downhill like Oh, that. me too, but it's like I can't, I don't know. I'm just used to throttling out of every place. Throttle out down here, be running a hunter. Yeah. <laughs> my hands are froze off. Yeah, I had to turn on my grip back there. Oh yeah, I forgot I got heated seats. <laughs> oh, ain't that crap. Forget you got heat and stuff like that. That's bull. I ain't got heated grips. I got heated gloves in my bag, though. I need to try that. Don't do you no good back there. <laughs> no. I forgot all about it, too, just back there. <laughs> well, who knew it was going to be snowing? Yeah. <laughs> Wee. That's a lot of weeds, you know that? a lot of weeds. I've been wee-wee-wee-weeing. <laughs> all the way home. Wee-wee-wee, all the way home. <laughs> wee!
would you like to be the power supply company going down the side of that mountain fire and put power poles up? Nope. I'm scared of heights anyway. What are you doing up here? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little different. Yeah. I'm on halfway stable ground. It changed right there. It started getting warmer. It's just like a blast yep. of air, just all of a sudden. Woo! Uh oh, big wee. Yeah, it's a big one. I think I've changed so many gears my foot's wearing out. I'm just leaving mine in one gear. It's cranking some RPMs, about 30, anywhere from 3 to 35, but at least I'm not changing every 10 seconds. Please. I'm trying to leave it third, but you got longer gears than I've got. Until you hit fourth and fifth, and then I can yeah. stretch them out. That's about all I can get to is about four, about four grand. And then it's time to let back down, so. Welcome to Tennessee. Yep. Three states in one day. Kentucky, Tennessee, and Virginia. Volunteer state. Watch out for bear. Oh, is it? Yeah. We're going to. We on Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be going straight, and I'm going to be going. I don't want to go. <laughs> well, I mean, you can follow me to Richmond, turn around, come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> Tried to kill me today anyway, but I uh, survived. We right now at 360, so we'll have a good 400 day, 410. Easy. I, I ain't made it home yet. No. I, so, I'll let you know what it is. One of us is going to get rained on. I don't know which one, but maybe both, maybe neither. I don't know. We're about to find out as soon as we <laughs> look up north. You got a rain too. Yeah, I do. If I got one, I ain't gonna wear it. It's hardcore day. <laughs> All right, Bubba. I'll text Be me tight. or you text me. You too. Be careful. I, I say you'll make it home before I will. Probably. Be careful. I will. You too. I was actually made it from London all the way to Richmond got sprinkled on just a little bit. Roy said he got it. I just got a message from him and said he was in a little bit of it too, so probably the same shower, but it is what it is. It wasn't bad enough to even try to pull over and put anything on. Obviously it's quit, so. So now let's get to the house. Mama's got us some food waiting. We're gonna sit down and talk to her and then we're gonna finish out this video. What about that? All right, see you there.
guys, did you really see that? Did you really see this dude idiot go across me like that? That, oh my gosh. And that scares me to death about turning anywhere like that. People come flying behind you. That could have been bad. That could have been really, really bad. That's how... 90% of motorcycle accidents actually happen is being rear-ended because of some stupid idiot that's not paying attention that's on their cell phone instead of paying. Oh my gosh. I gotta go, guys. I'll end this video here shortly. Wow, guys, what an action, fun-filled, packed day. Left out at 9 o'clock this morning, got back at 7 o'clock. You know, that's 10 hours of riding. According to my odometer, we put down 407 miles today. It's a good little... That's a good little piece. That's a good little, that's a good little time. Good little trick there. Started out running in circles. Roy keeps wanting to try to find this road 80. And 80 in our neck of the woods runs many different directions. And I'm not sure if it was 80 that we was on at one particular time, but he has fell in love with that road and we have been trying to find it ever since. So probably the first three hours, we were running in circles. So I didn't record a whole lot. It is what it is, guys. Most of what you've already seen anyways is on down in the playlist. We've already been there. So uh, we did end up at uh, Black Bear Dragon Slayer, I think it is. That's a that's an awesome road. Guys, we like to froze. As you've seen as we was going up through there, there was actually icicles. It was 78 degrees at the bottom, and there was icicles about midways up. So that should tell you how much the temperature actually truly dropped. The bike is trashed. It's it's a mess, and I know Roy's is just the same. Literally a minute and a half away from home and about got rear-ended. That blew my mind. That, that shook me up a little bit, to be honest. Had to really kind of sit down for a second and think about that because it's like my wife said, she came in like two minutes after that, but most accidents really happen close to your house. I've been out today, guys, in three states. Tennessee, Kentucky, and Virginia, and not a bit of problems. Been on mountains, been flying through curves, not a bit of problem. But stop a minute away from my house and about get rear-ended. I don't know if you know how close this dude came, but or chick or whoever it was, but really, really close. I'm thankful that nothing happened, but still yet, it's still, I about went after him, but I know me and I know that that probably wouldn't have been a good idea. So I come home, thank the man upstairs that I'm still here and we'll just leave it at that and go on to live another day. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. It's been a long one, been a long day. Just ate a quick bite and I figured I'd come out here and go ahead and try to finish this up. And I got some unpacking to do and get some things done. So you know the deal, like always, like, share and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your loved ones, tell everybody, you know? If you don't know already, look, you know, I'm advertising here, putting it, putting it out there. So when you're driving by, you can even see it. And if that's not enough, you know, you know where the, the name originated from. It's right here, guys. Look there. So you know what to do. Tell everybody to come see Bad LSX Garage and come holler at your boy, Chris. All right, guys, you know it. Peace. I'm out.